Today on the Texas Health Out Loud podcast, we're talking about big innovations that help the smallest of patients, those in the NICU. Stephanie Idson and Lindsay Cannon will join us. They both work in the neonatal intensive care unit at Texas Health Fort Worth. We'll talk about interesting yet effective methods that provide better care for babies in the NICU. The Texas Health Out Loud podcast starts now. From Texas Health Resources in Arlington, Texas, this is Texas Health Out Loud, a medical podcast featuring industry professionals, hospital leaders, and experts discussing healthcare topics that affect you and our community. Texas Health Out Loud starts now. Hello and welcome to the Texas Health Out Loud podcast. I'm Susie Solis. Thanks for joining us. More times than not, a baby comes into the world as a healthy newborn, but not always. And that's where the NICU comes in. Whether a baby is premature or has special medical needs, the neonatal intensive care units, like those at Texas Health Resources, are there providing round the clock care with neonatologists, therapists, and nurses. There are some new and innovative approaches going on at Texas Health Resources in the NICU that are helping treat our little patients. And here to talk about those innovations are Stephanie Idson, Clinical Education Specialist at Texas Health Fort Worth, and Lindsay Cannon, Manager of the NICU at Texas Health Fort Worth. Stephanie and Lindsay, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So innovation plays a key role at Texas Health Resources, especially in the nine NICUs across North Texas. But there's one innovation that sounds really interesting using gel. Can you tell me a little bit about that, Lindsay? Sure. So if a baby is born and either has some risk factors, maybe for mom who has diabetes, or if the baby is born small, then um, we would check their blood sugar level for hypoglycemia. In the past, if a baby had low blood sugar, then they would most likely be admitted to the NICU, which could cost three to $4,000 a day for that NICU stay. But now we're using a simple low-cost intervention, which is the glucose gel. It's typically used for adult diabetic patients, but it's also safe for infants in up to three doses. It allows the baby to stay with mom in uh, mom's room instead of coming in down to the NICU is very non-invasive. So in the past, we would maybe have to give them an IV to give dexterous fluids through that, but this way we don't have to do that. I'm sure any kind of medication, is that, would you call it a medication? Yes, it's a medication. Okay, so any kind of medication that keeps the child close to the mom is always a good thing, right? Absolutely. So, Stephanie, how did Texas Health Resources learn about this technique and then institute it? Well, it's very exciting. In June of 2016, we had um, quite a few nurses attend the AWAN National Convention out in Grapevine, and they heard a national speaker, Catherine Bennett, talk about glucose gel and the use of it. And they came back to their various units or hospitals, and they were very excited about this. So we got together as a system and um, started working on educating the nurses about glucose gel. And then we had physicians start talking about it too. So it was really a um, multi-disciplinary approach. We started educating, we started putting, um, requesting orders for Care Connect, and then we went live in April of 2017. So the interesting thing about some of these innovations are just how simple they are. And I didn't know if I was reading this correctly, but there's something having to do with Ziploc bags. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. So one of the most important things we can do for babies at delivery is to keep them warm. And there's a lot of literature showing the evidence that use of a plastic wrap is beneficial for our tiniest patients. So here at Texas Health Fort Worth, we found that using the Freezer-grade Ziploc bag is what works best for our babies. Um, We cut a tiny hole out of the bottom of the bag, and it kind of forms like a little baby poncho that we slide their head through, and then it keeps the bottom of them warm, so from the shoulders down. I love it. So what babies get this treatment? Well, babies born at less than 32 weeks gestational age or less than 1,500 grams delivery. Okay. And so what what is the reaction from parents when they see their little babies in Ziploc bags? Well, when possible, we we educate the parents um, to be expecting the Ziploc bag because when we first started it, it was kind of shocking. And we realized we do need to educate our parents. 
before. So when we explain to them why we are doing it, they are absolutely fine because parents want to do what's best for their babies. Um, so Stephanie, how are these innovations part of the overall philosophy here at Texas Health Resources? Well, of course, in Texas Health Resources, we're always looking for evidence-based practices, best care, um, innovations, um, standard of care. We, we just don't follow the status quo. We, we want to do what's best for our babies and their families. So we are always reading literature, working with our physicians, working with our, our team members to, to do what's best for the babies. And I think that's really re reassuring for all the parents who have to be in this situation. It is. This, um, the Ziploc bags was part of a quality project that we did here at Texas Health Fort Worth over two years, and we collected data on 430 very low birth weight babies. And we found that the Ziploc bags worked great for us, along with warming up the delivery rooms. And it was a team approach to do this. Um, we had L&D nurses, we had CRNAs, we had neonatologists, we had perinatologists, we had housekeeping, we had engineering all worked on this project together. So it looks like there's obviously a big push towards innovation here at Texas Health Resources. Can you tell me anything that's on the horizon, perhaps, Stephanie? Yes, of course. Um, we are always looking for innovations in Texas Health Resources. We have right now a few pilots going on in hospitals with some very exciting innovations, innovations that would be less invasive to our patients. And I'm going to be very excited to share those in the very near future. Well, that sounds amazing. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We really, really appreciate your time. And that's going to do it for today's Texas Health Out Loud podcast. I'd like to thank Stephanie Idson and Lindsay Cannon with Texas Health Fort Worth NICU for being here. At Texas Health, we're partnering with you for a better North Texas. To hear more Texas Health Out Loud podcasts, you can visit our website at texashealth.org slash out loud. And you can also subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play. I'm Susie Solis. Thank you for joining us for Texas Health Out Loud.